Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at the Switch Infinia. It's a new A19 bulb from Switch. Uh, first, let's review the original Switch. This is the Switch 60 in the clear lens. And um, some of the features of the original Switch bulbs you may know, they have a glass lens, the liquid cooling system inside, and a really beautifully finished heat sink. Um, what Switch has done differently with the Infinia is they switched to a plastic lens. Still has the same liquid cooling, the same capabilities of being allowed to be put into a fully enclosed fixture, but it's a plastic lens, it's a lot lighter weight, um, it's obviously at a lower cost as well. So now we'll take a look at how the bulb performs when it's turned on and through the dimming capabilities and then compare it with the original switch. So as you can see, it's a, a frosted lens and it's uh, just as bright as a 60 watt incandescent, dims very smoothly. And it is an omnidirectional lamp, just like the traditional switch. So you get that full 300 degree light pattern. It'll fill up a table lamp or a lamp with a shape like this. Now let's compare the Switch 60 to the Switch 60 clear. Just have a side-by-side -side demonstration. Okay, so here we have the Switch Infinia. And it has a frosted lens, of course. This is a Switch 60 in a clear lens, just to kind of show you a, a comparison of light output between the two. You'll notice the switch, the traditional switch has one row of LEDs arranged around the middle point of the bulb, whereas the Infinia has a series of LEDs that are spiraling around the inside of the bulb. Um, you can watch how they both dim. See the performance is, is quite similar to the original switch. They both have very nice dimming. The Switch Infinia is available today. It starts under $20 for the Switch 60 watt equivalent Infinia, and the 40 watts even lower than that. Um, we also still have the Switch Classic in stock as well. But uh, that's, that's the introduction of the Switch Infinia. Uh, more to come with a full product review later on.